Anya and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Yes, success. I finally, I finally recorded and uploaded my first ever YouTube video. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Well, okay, you know that's not true. YouTube wasn't even around when I was a child. But I will tell you about one of my childhood dreams was to be Miss Hong Kong. Miss Hong Kong, the beauty pageant is so popular in Hong Kong. Well, at least I think it's popular in Hong Kong. I don't actually know. My parents just used to watch it. And I just used to watch it when I was a kid and look at all these beautiful women and think, I want to be Miss Hong Kong one day. But I kind of forgot about that dream. So not clearly not that major of a childhood dream until I was at my aunt and uncle's quite a few years back now. And Miss Hong Kong was there watching Miss Hong Kong. And then I suddenly remembered my lifelong dream. I want to be Miss Hong Kong. I want to win that beauty pageant. And so I went on the website and had a little look and I was gonna enter and oh my God, lo and behold, I was too old to be Miss Hong Kong. What? Yes, that's right. Beauty has an age limit. So yeah, I'm too old to be Miss Hong Kong. Miss Asia will still have me, but I don't wanna be Miss Asia. I wanted to be Miss Hong Kong. So it just goes to show sometimes you just should just get out there and chase your dreams because one day you could be too old to chase specific dreams, namely being Miss Hong Kong. So lesson learned the hard way. Chase your dreams before you get too old. One of the major things about starting up a YouTube channel is what on earth am I going to make my channel about? Um, so the obvious female choice I guess would be makeup but this is as good as my makeup gets. When Damien and Co, the cold sores leave, we'll slick on a little bit of lippy. And there are so many girls doing makeup so much better than me that I didn't think I'd be bringing anything new to the table by starting up another makeup channel. Cooking, that would be another good channel, but anyone who's eaten my food knows that, that no, 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 yo, do not start a cooking channel. That's even worse. That idea is even worse than the makeup channel. I've been thinking about doing, starting a YouTube channel for quite a while. It's just been in my thought process. I've just felt like it's something that I should do, that I'm gonna enjoy it. Not enjoy it initially because doing anything new is always scary. I don't exactly know, 100% know where this channel is gonna go. I just know I want to start a YouTube channel. I will start by trying to get into a regular routine with it. And then I would like to take this outside. It's not always just going to be you, me and this dirty white wall. So I want to vlog about my journey through this crazy little thing called life. I feel like in order to take my iPhone outside, I do need a microphone. So that'll be the first thing I buy. So once I hit about mm, 10 videos, I think. Yeah, let's say 10. No, what am I thinking? No, eight. Once I hit eight videos, that's when I reward myself with a microphone and hopefully someone somewhere out there is gonna wanna watch me. I hope, fingers crossed, please, I will pray. I do fear that, am I gonna be good enough? Am I gonna be entertaining? Is anyone, anyone gonna wanna watch my channel? Right now, I really don't know, I hope so, but if no one wants to watch my channel, then I guess I just need to get better. Also had to make a decision, well, YouTube has actually made the decision for me. As they're going to be changing all the YouTube policies, I'm going to keep this channel real clean. Cleaner than this wall. Really clean. In fact, I might even clean up this wall at some point and give it a little lick of paint just to go with my nice clean channel. Yeah, I might do that. So that's my idea for the channel at the moment, but that could change and might change as I get going. That's why I've kept the, the name to just a name so I'm not tying myself down to anything. I don't then have to change I did think of, you know, calling it Yotrepreneur, which, but then that's tying down my channel to a specific idea and it could change. I would say I actually made it my name, but Yo Pain is not my name yet. I'm engaged, congratulations, I know, thank you, thank you, I'm very excited for myself. So Yo Pain will be my name at some point, hopefully next year. I've been waiting to be Yo Pain for a very long time, but I think this is it. I think this is gonna be goodbye for now. I think I've covered as much as I'm, I think I've recorded enough stuff to make at least one or two, hopefully three, maybe even stretch it to four, if that's wishful thinking videos. Now I just need to go work out how to edit this stuff, make it into a pretty video and 
and yeah get going with my youtube channel so please hit me up in the comments hit me up in the comments below please don't just like rip me to shreds and pieces because that'll be plain cruel i might not answer the comments straight away i think i'm gonna go hide under my duvet for a good week before i dare look at the comments although in reality no one's probably gonna find this i'm probably not gonna get any comments i've been yo and i look forward to seeing you next time Oh, I think my camera's moving. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> it would be more tech than enough. Tech. No. I can't say that.